Have you ever wondered which is the best carrot to buy? Is it the carrot that is in a bag? Or is it the carrot that has the green leaves on top of it? Did you ever wonder where baby carrots come from? This is something that I used to think about. I was like, where do they get those baby carrots? Do they come like that or do they cut them? Have you ever wondered what you should do with the leafy greens on top of the carrot? Should you eat them? Should you throw them away? What should you do with them? And have you ever wondered what is the best way to store the carrots so that they last longer in the fridge? All of these questions will be answered and so much more, so please stay tuned. So first let's talk about baby carrots. You might be surprised to find out that baby carrots are not actually baby carrots. They actually came from a full grown carrot, which was peeled and then cut into little pieces to make the baby carrots that you see in the grocery store. Now, as far as the leafy greens on top of the carrots, they are actually very nutritious. Of course, some people find them to be bitter, but you can't really taste them if you put it in a smoothie, because that's what I like to do. In all my smoothies, I love to have greens in my smoothies because the fruit in the smoothie helps to cover up the flavor of the bitter greens. So if you buy the carrots that have the leafy tops on them, save the tops for your smoothies. Now so let's talk about some benefits of carrots. Many people know that carrots are pretty healthy and some of the things that carrots help us with is to improve our eyesight, improve great skin. It also improves our digestion. It improves kidney function. It helps to maintain heart health. It's antibacterial and it reduces strokes. Now, of course, these are just a few of the many benefits that carrot has. This is why I love to incorporate carrots into my dinner smoothies. Now, let's talk about should you buy the carrots with the leafy greens on top of them or should you buy the carrots that have the leafy greens taken off of them? Now, from my research, I have found that the leafy greens, the carrots that have the leafy greens on top, they tend to waste away a little bit faster. But this is because the greens on the top tends to absorb a lot of the nutrients from the carrot, therefore the carrot goes bad faster. But what you can do is, what I found is, if I get the carrot with the leafy green on top, I cut off the leafy greens from the top of the carrot, and I separate those from the carrots. This way, the carrots do not age faster than they would if they had the leafy green. So really, it doesn't matter if you buy the carrots with or without the leafy greens on top. Just remember that when you store the carrots, do not store them with the leafy greens on top because the leafy greens will go bad faster if you leave the greens on top of the carrots. So make sure to separate and take off, as soon as you get the carrots home, take off the leafy greens from the carrot and separate the greens from the carrot to make the carrot last longer. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, save the leafy greens so that you can put those greens in your smoothie salad or any dish that you want for your dinner. So now let's talk about what is the best way to store your carrots in the fridge so that they last longer. Well, I've discovered that now in the refrigerator, the best place to put your carrots in is in the crisper drawer. And those are the drawers that are at the very bottom. That's because they are about 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it pretty cold and helps keep them crisper longer. Okay, so now let's talk about some ways that you can store the carrots in the drawer. Now I've tried different many ways. I've tried putting the carrots in water and putting them in the fridge and that actually made the carrots go kind of soggy faster. Uh, so that didn't work for me. I know some people do that, but that did not work for me. I also tried just putting the carrots in the drawer by themselves and that didn't work. And I've tried many other things, but they just didn't work 
So let me tell you what did work for me. So what worked for me was placing the carrots in a Ziploc bag, but making sure that the Ziploc bag is open. Do not close the Ziploc bag. I tried closing the Ziploc bag before and storing it like that and it didn't work. It's best to leave the Ziploc bag open when you're storing the carrots. And sometimes also what I like to do is, just to kind of help with the moisture a little bit, is put a, you can put um, a paper towel in the plastic bag, in the Ziploc bag. You can put a paper towel in there to kind of help soak some of the moisture if any moisture gets in there. But you don't really have to. You can just do it like that, but just the important thing is make sure that the bag stays open. So that's it friends. I hope that this has been helpful and I hope this helps you to be able to store your carrot longer in the fridge. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know what other things have you tried and have worked for you.